the hungry and homeless of Philadelphia can always find a place at the table thanks to a pair of restaurateurs with big hearts and hard-earned personal experience. Nancy Giles serves up their story. Something unusual is happening in the city of brotherly love. A new restaurant called Rooster Soup Company opened earlier this year, and it has a lot to crow about already. It's been named one of America's top 10 new restaurants by both Food & Wine and GQ magazines. Rooster Soup is also doing well in another way. It gives away every penny of its profits. Someone might say that you guys are just doing this for good press. I mean, I think that there are, like, are probably easier ways to get press. Opening a restaurant with 100% of the profit going to somebody else is like a crazy thing. Chef Mike Solomonoff and his business partner, Steve Cook, run Rooster Soup and a small empire of restaurants in Philadelphia. Their kind of crazy fit right in with the radical mission of Broad Street so this, Ministry, uh, where the the all that money is going. Experience. We like to say that we exercise radical hospitality. What does that mean? So for me, radical hospitality means that in this space, everyone is welcome, just the way they are. Mike Dahl is the executive director of Broad Street Ministry, located in a 100-year-old Presbyterian church in the heart of Philadelphia, one of the poorest big cities in America. Broad Street has delivered radical hospitality to thousands of Philly's most needy since 2008 by providing shelter when it's cold and hot meals for the hungry. And so seven times a week, we open our doors to the most vulnerable populations in Philadelphia. Thanks for coming. So lucky. Hey, Ms. Devon, how are you doing, darling? And we welcome them in and provide them with a warm and nutritious meal. You're going to like that enchilada, too. And it's served at the table with linen and with china by volunteers who are going to treat the guests just like you'd want to be treated, with dignity, with respect, with care. It's nice to have you. Did you get a card? The guests, as they're called at Broad Street, may be homeless, drug addicted, or just lonely. It doesn't matter. Yeah, There's no judgment. Mm -mm, no judgment. And, and like they say, if, if you're here, you belong here. But they got the sign outside. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. They don't care how bad you look, how bad you smell. Everybody gets treated the same. You don't feel like you're going to a soup kitchen. You almost feel like you're going to a restaurant. They serve you. The food is absolutely outstanding. Their services here are ridiculously good. Ridiculously good service? That may be because many of the waiters and waitresses doing the serving are professionals. So inspired by Broad Street's radical hospitality, they're working for free. Just like Rooster Soup's Steve Cook did when he first volunteered at Broad Street four years ago and got inspired himself. So I came back um, pretty charged up from that, first, from that first experience and you know, Mike and I talked about it and I said we really ought to, we ought, really ought to bring our staff here. Let's go. Charging up the staff wasn't very hard. Witness how the crew at Zahav, Mike and Steve's four-star Israeli-American restaurant, often start their shift. That we have to get people charged and excited, and sometimes that requires disco dancing. <laughs> and when he's not doing splits, Mike mans the oven. Mike, what do you make back here? I make all the bread. Okay. Right? So this is lafa, which is like uh, an Iraqi-style pita. It's called what? It's called lafa. Mike's lafa bread and hummus. 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 There you go. You nailed it. The hummus and the rest of his menu have earned him four prestigious James Beard Awards. He was named Outstanding Chef in America just this May. It's an amazing success, this restaurant, but it could have very easily gone a different way. I mean, Mike, you quote yourself as saying, nobody expects someone like me to be a recovering crackhead. How is that you? How did that happen? And after my younger brother was killed in action, in the Israeli military, the way that I coped with it or thought I was coping was to use and abuse substances. Mike was using not just crack, but heroin. When Steve found out about it back in 2008, Zahav's first year of business. So it was a really difficult year. I leaned on Steve tremendously. Steve, I feel like, is uh, at this point a drug counselor. That's incredible. So that's incredible friendship. Out. And the first thing that Steve said was that we know that, you know, you have a problem and we want to, um, we want to help you and we want to take you to detox. 
some of the people that are benefiting from Broad Street aren't as lucky as you were. There are people that are just like me, right, that didn't have support. That's right. That are now living on the street. And unfortunately, we're not, none of us are really immune to that. These two give Philly's brotherly love nickname some real meaning. First week that we were open, Steve cut a check to Broad Street Ministry, which is probably enough to serve like hundreds of people. Oh my God. So it, it's, it's that sort of tangible. And all that money they're raising at Rooster Soup is changing lives at Broad Street. And they basically saved my life. Wow. Like, for real, I was uh, thinking of just ending it. I've had so many times where people have said, you know, this place saved my life. Look, we're so grateful of, for the money that's gonna come across to help our mission, but I think the promise of Rooster Soup is so much more than that. It's a model I feel like that should be all over the country. Uh, that would be a great thing.